the main reason why we are on clinical um, hold is because the last uh, participant that we that we dosed with a uh, 4310 uh, de de developed uh, atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome, which was grade four, in the sense that he uh, it was life threatening because he required a dialysis for a number of days. Um, and uh, so he was sicker longer than the, uh, than the other uh, participants in the study. And what we discovered later is that he had uh, a pre-existing activation of his complement system. Uh, and this is probably a reason why his um, atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome was uh, more severe than the others. To emphasize, so that the whole complication that I described of a typical hemolytic uremic syndrome is uh, by definition caused by complement activation. Uh, and the activation uh, is of the uh, classic uh, pathway of complement uh, by a rapid rise in IgM antibodies against the capsid early on, shortly after administering the, um, the product systemically intravenously. And it's the rapid rise of the IgM antibodies that then uh, um, attach themselves to the capsid and activate the complement uh, system. It's a well-known uh, um, class effect uh, uh, phenomenon with any AV or any other virus that you inject into the system. Um, it's less common when you inject it locally, for example, uh, intrathically or uh, into the muscle, uh, but when you inject it sy systemically, that can occur and has been described in other studies, in other products, in particular in an isotype of AV called AV9. Uh, what we discovered lately is, uh, and that's the good news, is we confirmed that um, 4310, uh, the uh, gene therapy investigational product that we are testing r right now does not directly activate complement. Uh, and it only occurs with uh, the development of antibodies against the capsid. The importance of that is that there is a way, and this is how we plan to do in the future, is uh, when we restart our study, is to use a, um, a method of immune suppression prior to the dosing uh, that is a combination of product called rituximab and sirolimus. These should eliminate or prevent the elevation of the IgM antibodies initially and therefore will um, uh, should prevent the um, HUS, the atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome from occurring. So the, that is the uh, plan that we, uh, it's part of the plan that we hope to agree with uh, the FDA so we can uh, remove the hold f uh, from our study. <laughs>